When you're young, you have all these ideas of, oh, I want to be a, a musician or I want to be a dancer. I said to one of the dancers the other day, the only definition is you're doing what you love every day, then you are a dancer, you are a performer. I always played in bands in school. All the circles I moved in were music-obsessed people, and we formed our own little clans, and that definitely contributed to how I thought of the world and my place in it. Then step by step learning more and figuring out kind of where I could fit within the industry. A lot of the young people that we work with are interested in going into the arts. They want to be on stage or they want to be a visual artist, they want to be the painter, they want to be the photographer, but there are so many other opportunities out there. Probably when I was 16, um, when I realised that's what I wanted to do, I didn't want to do anything else. My vision was to be this super uber world famous super I mean you guys you'll know about now in the modern times are like uh, Pharrell, Timberland. When I started the business I decided I was going to learn everything. Uh, that was my niche, my thing that I was going to be the guy that could do everything in the studio uh, and 16 years later that's where I am. What I'm interested in is the process of making drama and creating drama. So I decided to be a drama teacher. It's dramas give them a belief in themselves and that belief comes from real achievement as well. I choreograph, so I put together the, the performance, the steps. I teach them how to do it, put it together. We rehearse it a lot, a lot. Every four minute show, we probably rehearse um, three full days of eight hours. The music producer is the guy who was hired by a record label to complete a song. So his job is literally, they hand him an artist, say, can you do one song or an album even as well? And he, his job is to deliver that, the final versions of that album or song. And my biggest success was in the UK with a band called N-Dubs. Um, I worked on their first two albums, uh, which both sold uh, over a million copies each. People often look at what I do and assume it's a, it's a glamorous type industry to be in. And the reality is it's, you know, there's a lot of behind the scenes work and graft that that needs to be put in to make things happen. It means the world to me that we can make changes here and, and make things happen that didn't exist in our time, which you know I would have loved to have seen if, if I was a kid growing up here. I'm studying at ESF, so I went to South Island School. I danced a lot, I performed, I did a lot of performances. We had a drama department run by Mr. Radford and we would do these amazing productions every year. We also went on tour one year with our drama. School is the, the best place to discover all of it. You can learn about everything in one place. You have the facilities, you have the teachers, you have the opportunity, the time. The school is a time to learn all of that. Many ESF kids get involved in our projects and I've always been really thrilled to work with them. I really love and enjoy working with young people and seeing that change happen to young people when they're engaged in creating pieces of art or music or drama. I think schools can play an important role connecting you know, students with people who are doing things out in the, in the real practical world and help connect them up for, just to get experience. At YAF there's always things for young people to get involved in. I mean we've always got projects. I mean we're sort of 365 days a year. It's I know what I want to do for future it's either performing or painting and being an artist. We need more people doing more in those areas and the only way that happens is if, 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 if people take it seriously and you know spend time and effort on their craft. You have to be ready to take those opportunities and wherever they may be. There's something for everyone um, in the industry so if you are just starting out there are productions that you can be in there are people that you can work with. If you are kind of semi-professional, there's also other things you can do. There's so many avenues and so many things you can do. I feel like I don't have a limit when it comes to drama. I always want to push past what I can do. I love challenging myself. Make the most of it. Don't take it for granted because it's, you know, it's, it's at your fingertips right now. Think about becoming very, very good at the things that we're passionate about. And Think about having the incredibly enjoyable experience of working with passionate people. If you actually work hard and you and you dedicate yourself to it and you um, have some talent, of course, I, I'm 100% I'm sure you will be successful in whatever you want to do. I love what I do. I love what I do. I, yeah, yeah. I wake up and I look forward to work. 
I look forward to next week, next month, next year. I love what I do. I think I am very, very lucky. Thank you.